Well, I hope that discussion that you just had was uh, engaging, and I hope you were able to participate. You know, what we want from any of these discussions that you do together is just to show up, be real, say where you're at, try to answer and, you know, dig into the question and be a community. And I hope that was meaningful to you. Yeah, there's many, many times when Lisa and I have come to group and it's just been a tough day, either with our son or our yeah. daughter. Or it's, it's, it's just, life is hard sometimes. Yeah, and you just need to name that. So even though the discussion might be about something else, it's okay to say, hey, I'm just not with <laughs> it right now. That's part of becoming a community. So celebration is important to community, but always show up you know, real with where you're at. Now, we started with celebration for a reason, as we mentioned earlier, because we want to establish that foundation that group does have a sense of joy. The Christian life has a sense of joy about mm -hmm. it. And God, through history, has done this with his people. You know, when you trace God's movement in Israel with his people, every time a significant event took place, they celebrated. All there the was time. feasts. Yeah, I mean, it's my kind of community. We <laughs> feast all the time, baby. These people were party animals in a good kind of way. <laughs> they certainly weren't uh, just a somber, serious group. Yeah. There were times for that, and God is holy. But there were times where God said, "You know what? Take the lid off this thing and just celebrate." So you see feasts throughout the Old Testament that they were commanded to do, and to pause and spend a week or they more. Spent sometimes. time. Yeah. They spent time. They spent finances. I mean, Absolutely. these were big deals. So it's important to have fun and to pause along the way. So we want that to be a practice that gets built mm -hmm. into your experience as a group together. I'm just thinking on our church, we just had a baptism celebration. We do several throughout the year, but yeah. one that comes to mind is just a time to not only declare, hey, this is great, this transformation that took place, which is a serious deal, but also to celebrate that and to laugh and to clap and say, yay you and yay God for what he's done. So, well, if God likes to party about it, we should too. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, another thing about uh, celebration is that it's a way to connect. I think as you have fun mm -hmm. together as a group and experience joy together, you learn things about people that you don't learn in a classic, if you will, Bible study time or in a prayer time or in other things that you'll do as a community. When you laugh together, when you enjoy time together, you learn about people's personalities and you learn a little bit about their story. It's a great time to connect. And I think we just want to hammer home, this is sometimes a thing that not everybody right. gets. It's okay for Christians to have fun <laughs> and is. laugh. You know, uh, I grew up in a background that sometimes, you know, having fun was almost looked down on. I remember a woman saying to me in a church setting, just remember, we're all just a piece of dirt. I was like, what? She was trying to take us back to the Garden of Eden or something where we were created, but we were getting a little joyful, and she wanted us to make sure that Christianity was a serious deal. She was always that way. Yeah, and I had a similar gig, too. I mean, it was, it was very Bible-driven. And if you're talking about God's holy word, you can't smile. Don't deviate. Yeah. But Ecclesiastes is great. You know, there's a time to weep. There's a time exactly. to laugh. So let's, yeah. let's teach each other, you know, how to laugh and have a good time. Another aspect of joy is just learning to, to laugh at yourself. I, I don't have any problem laughing at you, man. So <laughs> you don't understand. This is about me laughing at me. You just keep your, okay. your mind to yourself. I got enough to work yeah, on. Yeah, you okay. do. But part of that is in your group experience is just being able to say that, you know, sometimes, you know, your life is messy and yeah. you're not going to be perfect. You just got to be able to right. sit back and laugh at yourself. Now, if you can't do that, you can always laugh at somebody else like what Bill did to me. Yeah. Uh, but you'll get the same reaction and we don't yeah, want and that, that. That does build trust in a group when you can kind of take one of those things and say, Okay, and kind of chuckle with it, not get too defensive. It says, you know what, I'm okay, we're okay, and we don't get too wound up. And, and it's just being honest. Yeah. It's being able to say, you know, well, this is who I am. I may not be yeah. like you, you may not like be like me, but, you know, that's... And that's, that's part of this becoming a biblical community is continue to pursue authenticity and honesty. And, and that's a gradual process if you're new to that. But, hey, we all do that together in community. And another thing is realizing that joy is just much deeper than just the laughter. Yeah, it's not just the fun or upside. Of yeah, that. yeah, I mean, there, there is the, the more, uh, the deeper side, the part where we understand that we live in a broken world. There are yeah. bad things. There's layoffs. There's pain. There's... Sure. Uh, there's suffering that happens, but we learn to discover and be joyful with where God has us. And we're going to learn more about that later, but we even know the life of Jesus. It says for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. I mean, he had these moments of terror, yeah. and yet he talked about joy. And we'll visit some of those, but what is that about biblical joy that goes deeper than simply fun? So yeah. uh, that's an important aspect as well. Yeah. And now we're going to look at another discussion question. The last one was a little bit more around fun, and we, we hope you had fun with it. Yeah. But this one is going to take a little bit of a couple notches deeper and being able to say, let's look at the joy meter in your life mm -hmm. this past week. So let's turn together as a group right now and read the question, open up your study guides, and just have a moment of being able to see where your joy is at. 